hello everyone welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you how we can add identity and add authentication to our angular application so let's use octo here so uh, if you are new to our youtube channel so please do visit all the other um, uh, videos uh, which are put on angular applications so i'm going to use the same application here so we'll be having a better understanding um, so in our earlier video we have seen how we can add the similar uh, you know authentication in Spring Boot application. So here we're gonna switch it to the Angular. So the first step what we have to do is we have to sign up to Okta. So we have already covered that in our previous video. So now I'm gonna create a new application that's gonna be a single page application that that's inside the Okta uh, login. So I've already logged in into the console of Okta. I'm going to create a new application. Go to application, add application. And I'm going to select single page, single page application. So this is for Angular and React and whatever the single page applications you have. Um, I'm just going to update the name as demo. Single page application. I'm just going to update the URL to 400. I'm just going to change all to 4200. Zero, zero. and I'm gonna use implicit okay so here we get it okay let's give turn okay it's going it's creating just go inside it okay just click on edit I can see um all the stuff which you have already done and this is your client id just save it and then you can you should see this 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 way you have to see the application settings so the configuration is done the application is created so now we'll jump into vs code the first first step we have to do is we have to add the dependency for after and angular Okay, so I'm using Angular 9 here. So I'm just going to new terminal. Just do it's taking time. Okay, npm install Angular to auth 2. ITC. I'm going to install the latest. So this command will you know, install the package of uh, Angular OAuth package. So so with this, uh, you know, you can um, incorporate any you know identity manager like Okta you can include Facebook Google so whatever identity identity manager you have so now the package is installed so what I'll do I'll just go to modules I'll import import uh, OAuth module from Angular Auth ID. I'll just copy this and import it. I'll import it here. Dot for it. Okay. So this is what you have to import here. That's done. Just save it and jump into the component. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a configuration. So before that, I'll import the required. Uh, packages I want OAuth component what service I need All right. service comma the configuration okay from the same package that's done 
So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a configuration. Um, it's const config. Um, in the type of auth config. Okay. So I'm gonna um just a minute. That is like all two is missing. Okay. I'm gonna do so if you remember in our Spring Boot application, we have configured all these in our property files, which is nothing but the issuer and the client ID and the redirect URI. So here the same other fashion, I'm gonna do this issuer. The issuer is gonna be our uh, authentication server and redirect direct is gonna be redirect. Direct URI is gonna be our same other wherever the window is. So window dot location dot origin. Fine, and the next one is the client ID. Client ID is gonna be our client ID. We have to fetch it from our Opto dashboard, like our console. So I'm going here. I'm gonna take the client ID, just copy it, and paste it here. It's done. And the issue is gonna be our authorization server. Going to the authorization server. That's going to be the default server I'm going to use. Just copy this. Okay. And paste it here. That's done. Origin. Okay. Is there any spelling mistake here? Okay. There is a comma missing here. Okay. So there I go, the configuration is done. So I'm gonna use the same con this configuration to initialize the port service. Same port, just create a variable here in the constructor. Private port service. Service. I'm gonna initialize the configuration with this. This dot port service dot um configuration configure not config okay that's it and then we are going to you know um you know make the application to try login when there is no document form Bound for that particular user. Okay, so just do this. Try login. That's it. So this all this stuff is done. So I'm gonna have, I'm gonna create uh, two buttons inside of our uh, HTML template. So one is to login, and another is to log out. Okay. So I'll just create login method. So this will this dot oauth service dot login. The implicit in it. Implicit flow. Okay. I'll do this and log out. This dot auth service dot logout that is a method in for logout i'm just going doing this and one more is what i'm going to do is i'm just going to print um, i'm just i just want to know the name of the user who logged in okay so i'm gonna get user name okay for this Constant 
flames this dot over service dot get identity flames okay so we'll get an uh, you know area of area of uh, identities so from that you can pick the identity which you want if if the claim is null then return no okay that I mean that is nothing else we're just gonna return climbs of we're gonna return the name okay so this will return you the name just save it so that's done I'm just moving on to the template so the template we have we already have uh, you know uh, our working application so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna create I'm just gonna you know, make this template visible only if we get the name of the user in our get, get user method okay so it's gonna be store ng if equal to get username so that's the method right so i'm going this just copy and paste it here get username okay that's fine so probably you can all you can do is you can put a get and before this so that it will be a Kind of a variable for you okay so i'll do that i'll just put a get so you don't have to use a you no know, function bracket there just remove it so it will be a direct variable kind of okay so i'm going to have a button share get a div so this is gonna this when that is a uh, username then I'm gonna display h1 hello username okay and the button button it's gonna say log out okay so on click of this I'm going to call log out function click okay so this is gonna call the log out function this is done I'm just gonna copy the same again I'm gonna paste so I'm gonna toggle the button when there is no username okay so if it is if it is null then we are going to display login and we're gonna call login method okay I'll just save it And we can see our ng node server. And it says it is saying something. Let me stop the server. And when this server. Just format everything at the same time we'll format this as well save it format there is a shortcut which is which is uh, shift alt and yep so that will format your you know document so 
so it's getting compiled okay so there is some error in our router outlet so we don't have a router outlet anyway um the error is that passing the template and unexpected and your template okay we can just do this okay so there you go there is an outlet outlet showing at 57 46 57 57 is this okay is there anything that we have modified here just check it once again mm. there's nothing that we have modified okay do you mean an escaped okay what is this error pausing template i think here there is an issue with the uh, ng container mm -hmm. okay what is there so, so that's it quick okay somewhere I missed let let me comment this and try to run it again Okay, maybe the issue with this one. Okay. Button not button. So this way we can define this. I will just define okay. I think this is the issue. Let me check again. Let me uncomment. So for commenting it is shift alt e to comment and toggle the comment. There you go. Let me remove this. There is some issue with the map button, I guess. No at all. Seventy-seven thirty-one. Okay, something is missing. Uh, okay.
Mm -hmm. Okay, let me comment this and try one by one. And now it's getting compiled successfully and let me check yeah so the application is working but the only thing is it is not working when we add these two buttons right what is fishy here let us identify it i'm not seeing anything fishy here because everything is fine don't have anything fishy here mm -hmm. Okay, let me end comment. Yeah, this is working. So we'll go here. So now we create the login button. So login. So there you go. We are logged in. So I will just refresh the application. Okay. Ideally, we should get the logout button because, like, let me open this in a private browser so we'll be able to understand. Private window. Let me go here and put it here. And, and I'm seeing login button. I'm just giving login. See here it is going to Okta. So now I have to enter this and my password. So once I put those, so I'll be redirected to our application. So I'm able to see the stuff. Okay. So now what is fishy here is this one. Yeah that's what i got it so we haven't uh, you know with double curly brace for get username so now i'm saving it the application will get refreshed automatically so there you go we got hello and money and we got the logout button as well so when you click on logout it will log out and your session will be cleared automatically with the Open ID Connect feature in OR2 in our Angular application package. Okay, so it is that simple, and your Angular application is secure and your users are authenticated. So, uh, in our next video, so we'll be seeing about uh, how we can integrate our, our backend server. So, as of now, the backend server is. Um, uh there is no backend server here probably think unworthy okay so um okay let me sign in and show you okay there you go so the application is working hope hope this uh, tutorial the video is useful for you guys um so in our next application so we will be using the spring boot application which we have already as a backend backend resource of server and uh, the ui will hit the resource server and will get the information so to hit and get the information so you need a access key so that key i'll be explaining it explaining you it in the next tutorial okay uh, uh, so as of now in our angular application we are directly hitting the firestore 
uh, hope this video is useful so if you like the video please like and share it to your friends and don't forget to subscribe uh, thank you we'll see you in the next good video